brother. brother! Welcome to another edition of J vs. Ben. In today's episode, we are taking the ultimate Hogwarts quiz. Ooh, and I get to see if I can keep my win streak alive, mm, which is exactly uh, currently one, one win, win long. long. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta break that streak before it gets too big. Too, too big. Yeah, as in two. Two victories in a row. We shall see. Pending. We shall see. Mm. We shall see. I'm nervous, actually. I'm... We will put a link to the quiz in the description below so you can play along with us. How it will work is that Derek is going to read us the questions, and if you're playing along, you will have multiple choice. We will not. We just have to answer based off of memory. If we both agree, though, yes. then we can get the multiple choice answers, and we'll see who gets the most out of 30? Out of 30! Oh so, my gosh, we just need to get going. We need to get moving. Diving right on in with question number one. Question number one. What does Professor Dumbledore find in the room of requirement? You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. A bathroom. Uh, it's a room full of chamber pots. I which, said chamber pots. I mean, uh, I don't know. I think bathroom counts. He, okay. I do that. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, if it said chamber pots on the multiple choice, that's what I would have clicked. Unless it also gave the option for a bathroom. No, it said a room full of chamber pots was the, uh, the okay. answer given. Okay. Well okay. then. We're counting it then. Question, Question two. number two. Who was headmaster of Hogwarts before Albus Dumbledore? Three, two, one. Armando Dippet. Armando Dippet is Woo! correct. Huzzah! Doing good so far. Doing good so far. Question number three. All right, these are select all that apply. Oh no. Okay. Which of these are Hogwarts house ghosts? The Grey Lady, the Bloody Baron, Moaning Myrtle, Nearly Headless Nick, Peeves the poltergeist. Three, two, one. Said the gray lady, the bloody baron, and nearly had the snake. Ben. Yes? I can't help but notice that you have C circled. What was C? Moaning Myrtle. What was the question? <laughs> Which... Which of these are Hogwarts house ghosts? Oh Moaning Myrtle my... is oh. not a house ghost. You're thinking it was just Hogwarts ghosts. And the difference was Peeves. Yep, that's, that's what you exactly did. what I thought. Oh, because right, he's a poltergeist and not... Oh. oh, that is very annoying. That is annoying. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm like devastated. Oh, because, that's because that's just absolutely stupid. That. That's, oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you lose on Moaning Myrtle, that's going to be a real bummer. Oh. If it's 29 to 30... I've got one for you. Which one was not listed? Oh, the Fat Friar. Well, I was asking Ben, but yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not pleased. Question number four. It's even the point. <laughs> Which defense against the dark arts teacher filled his office with pictures of himself? Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lockhart. It is indeed Professor Lockhart. I didn't get rid of the band and banshee by smiling at them. <laughs> oh man, that that is like one of my least favorite characters, one of my favorite portrayals yeah, of the movie. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Question number five. Which mode of transport do first year students use when arriving at Hogwarts for the first time? Boats! Magical boats. Boats. Is correct. Nice. Crushing it. So far this is this is pretty tolerable. So far, so far. Alright, question number six. Which Architectural feature of Hogwarts catches Neville out as a result of his notoriously poor memory. Catches Neville out? That is the wording. I feel like that's probably how it was worded in the book. Possibly. It seems like yeah. an English wording and not an I've American wording. Hmm. Three, two, one. I said the trick step. A staircase with a trick stair oh, halfway up. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he also not remember the password to? I guess that's not an architectural, that's not an architectural feature. feature. Although, although I would make the argument that it kind of is, considering it's a doorway. I mean, you're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. It does catch him. He just screws it up constantly. One half point. <laughs> you feel like you're getting beat on technicalities here. A little bit because that's that's. I wouldn't have thought of the step. Even notoriously poor memory, I think, would have so much more to do with a password than it would stepping on something. 
This is you're, a you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what question are we on? Number seven. Seven. Ah, oh, I'm not pleased. There's no way in the world my streak's staying alive right now. <laughs> All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. So many more questions, Ben. So many more I'm questions. Yeah, let's do it. How many known secret passages lead from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade? This is tricky because, like, the Marauders map shows a specific number, but there is another one that is added in the seventh book. So, well, is, aren't aren't several of them closed off as well? Well, I would say these aren't accessible passages. I'm going based on. How many there actually are blocked or unblocked? Yeah. There's a specific scene where certain characters mention exactly the number. Huh. I think... Uh, see, this is tricky because... Well, that throws me off even more than... Trying to think of how many there were prior... What does Harry takes... You ready? I am sure I have it wrong, but go I ahead. Just, I said seven. I said three. Seven is correct. Woo! That's how many are on them. There's like four that are blocked, and then three that are active. Are active. That's all. But I can like think the of. Wamping Willows over one, and Filch knows about one. So I think it's the one from Honey Dukes that Harry takes. Right. And then I put eight because the one that's not on the Marauders map is the one that Neville takes to the Hogshead. Yeah. Oh, then it's definitely eight. So the quiz is wrong, you think? I think the quiz is wrong. Well, I don't think you answered wrong, but it is absolutely eight. So I put it in parentheses. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, known to who, right? Yeah, that's a, Known that's to us, the reader, or... So far, I don't like this quiz. So <laughs> <laughs> Question number eight. Where is the secret entrance to the Hogwarts kitchens located? This is another one where I'm relatively certain I have an answer that's accurate, but I'm fairly certain it's not going to be what they have. In the quiz. We shall see. I'm trying to think if there's some other feature that... I bet I know what you have written down, if that's what you're thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bet I know, too. And I'm wrong. We'll see. Three, what? two, one. I said, I bet, I bet, without looking, I think Ben has near the Hufflepuff common room. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's correct, but I bet the answer to the quiz is behind the painting of a bowl of fruit by tickling the pear. It is next to the Hufflepuff common room. But it is also behind a portrait of a bowl of fruit. I would give that to you. I'll give you that one. That's not wrong. What? What? Where is the prefix bathroom? Why do I always think that's the fruit basket? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Oh boy, I hope that's not a question. I don't know. <laughs> isn't the, pre, the prefix bathroom is up by the room of requirement, isn't it? <clears throat> question nine. Where in the Hogwarts grounds is Hagrid's hut located? Uh, this is this is one I feel like yeah. There, I don't know how specific they're looking to be. And this is another one of those questions where like if you had the multiple choice, you'd know just instantly, and there wouldn't be any doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. I said just outside the Forbidden Forest. Uh, outside the Forbidden Forest, yeah, Forbidden Forest tree line. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do they want? Like. Direction from the entrance no. hall? I feel like they <laughs> leave from the entrance. On the edge of the Forbidden Forest is the answer in oh, the quiz. Okay. That's, that's one of those things they did in the Sorcerer's Stone where like when they have him visit, they have them visit Hagrid, it's almost like, it almost seems like they like walk out the castle doors and Hagrid's hut is like right there. Like almost in the way of like the entrance of Hogwarts. <laughs> I still, it made sense. It was exactly where I pictured it in my mind's eye. Yeah. In the yeah. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Yeah. In the movie. Okay, All right, question, question 10. 10. Who received an award for special services to the school 50 years before Harry attended Hogwarts? Oh, that's obvious for one reason. Three, two, one. Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle. Ba-boom. Boom. 50 years. 50 years yep. ago. Man, they should really uh, get rid of that award. <laughs> I know. Like, come on, Dumbledore just <laughs> nicks that. I can't, Dumbledore's the headmaster for how long and that award's still there? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, like... And he knows it wasn't, he knows Hagrid isn't to blame, whatever, anyway. Where do the Durmstrang students stay when they visit Hogwarts for the Triwizard Tournament? You are writing a lot more than I feel like was necessary for this. <laughs> Did you write on a boat? <laughs> Mine is very simple. Three, two, one. I said on a spectral ship on the lake. Ship on the lake is correct. Boom. Okay. I feel like sometimes you do that when we're doing these quizzes. You're like writing a short book over there. <laughs> well, you know, I mean... I feel like if my question's wrong, if I can at least give like a lot of detail, I 
hope everybody at home is like, okay, well, like, he still yeah. knows his stuff. Right, right, it's right. just, it's just he, he thought about it differently. That's all. Sure. That's what I'm going for. This is a, this is a tough one. I is would this not, 12? I would not know this. This is 12. Uh-oh. Okay. Derek wouldn't know. Okay, good one, good one. Which spell opens the secret passage to Honeydukes behind the statue of the one-eyed witch? Which spell? Mm-hmm. I got it. Uh-oh. Might have one. Did you, did you just listen to Prisoner or something? I mean, I'm... I'm like, about to finish Deathly Hallows, so... Again? I'm about to finish Deathly Hallows. Oh, okay, so we should be in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, like, Harry explaining to Voldemort the Elder Wand. It's so good that Harry was there to do that for Voldemort. You know, like, he really needed, like, a good quality, like, instructional moment mm-hmm. on that. Yeah. All right. Which spell? Ah... Uh... I think I'm going to get a point, or else we're both going to get it wrong, or else I'm wrong. And I'll be guess super right. impressed if you get it. If I get it, yeah, you had it right away too. We shall see. Hmm. Three, two, one. Descendo. I said Revelio. The answer is Descendium. Descendium. Oh, dang. It is so. Okay. Well, I guess that's wrong. The answers that they gave were Descendio, Descendia, Descendium, and Descendius. Uh, so oh they, wow! They, so yeah. So they I, I would say that like. I feel like that's that's probably worth something, but if literally the question was to figure out whether or not which version of it you knew, yeah, and that's yeah. Well, there you go. I would say mine was so close, but apparently they knew it would be. It was way better than where I was. <laughs> I was like, Phew. all right, thirteen, thirteen. Where does the fat lady hide after being attacked by Sirius Black? This is where like the mo- the movies confuse my memory of of. Mm, yeah. Canon information because I'm I'm pretty sure I know what they do in the movie. I don't know if I remember what it is. The answers given to this one are incredibly specific. Really? Mm-hmm. I, hmm. Is this a multiple choicer? We could do a multiple choice on this one. Okay. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna help. In a map of Wiltshire on the seventh floor, in a map of Buckinghamshire on the third floor, in a map of Argyllshire on the second floor, or in a map of Yorkshire on the fourth floor. What? (laughs) Do you want to know that literally what I have written down right now is on a stretch of landscape on the ninth floor? So I feel like I was on the right. I know, like I have the right, like, uh, steps in place. Oh, gosh. Okay, you want to know what I have written down right now? What? Painting of a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. That's, that, that's, that's, as, that's as valid as that's anything else. That's the movie else. one, I believe. Roll, roll clip here <clears throat> from the movie. It might be a rhino? Oh, you're right. You're. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, um, like some animal. All right. Three, two, one. A. I said D. The answer is a map of Argyllshire on the second floor, which was C. Oh, it was a stupid question anyway. I didn't like it to oh. begin with. I feel like I was so close with my, I knew, oh man, I don't know why ninth floor was. Why on earth would she hide in a map? I don't know. Not map? much to hide behind. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Moving on, question 14, I believe. Question 14 is another select all that apply. I'm doing so poorly. I think I have seven points. I've got 11. 14, go ahead. It's three. Which of these can be found in the Forbidden Forest? House elves, unicorns, thestrals, acromantula, a feral Ford Anglia car. Okay, three, two, one. All but house elves. All but house elves. All but house elves is correct. Bam! Take that, Argleshire. Man, it feels good to put a point in that score column. Oh, man. I feel like it's been a hot second. 15. All right, all right. I don't know what makes these more interesting, if they're really hard and we suck at them, if or if we're good at them. Like, I don't know what's more entertaining to watch. Question 15. Which subject at Hogwarts is taught by Professor Binns? History of magic. Is that- <laughs> boring. <laughs> boring. History of magic is correct. Woo. Knew that one. Also a ghost. Also a ghost. But not, not a house, house ghost. ghost. <laughs> 16. Who was the first student in Harry's year to be sorted into Gryffindor? I know one. I've, I've always felt like their names seemed so fitting for the house they were in. Oh, totally. Like, and so the name I have written down doesn't seem like the right name, but I know that it's... Shoot. Now I'm trying to name all the other characters that I know. 
from that year. Hang on. Yeah, you got some math. <laughs> Lots of math. <laughs> Trigonometry, actually, is very much coming in handy right now. Um, I'll just double check my work here. Who else do we know? Ah, I, I know I'm going to get this wrong. I'm going to be so annoyed. All right, three, two, one. Lavender Brown. The oh. answer is nice. Lavender Brown. Yeah! Lavender Brown is like the one I couldn't think of. Ba, 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 bam. I don't think Hannah Abbott is I know, a Hufflepuff. Yeah. yeah. She ends up marrying Neville, though, and then I was like, is that why I always think? Like, my, my front runner there, other than Hannah, was uh, Seamus. Oh. Seamus Finnegan? At Finnegan. 17. What is the single portrait in the prefect's bathroom of? Extra points for specificity. This okay. is. This is tricky. I agree, because I think that there is something... Could be, this could be something where the movie is messing with you again. It could be. I feel like, you, yeah. Okay. Well, I have an answer, and I don't know anything else. Okay. Sure. Three, two, one. I sent a mermaid on a rock. A blonde mermaid is correct. Super. So, All right. I'm counting mermaid. I'm counting mermaid. See, this is one where in the movie it's stained glass. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And that was like... Still blonde, though, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 18. How would Hogwarts appear to a muggle? Again, extra points for specificity. Hmm. We just talked about this. Yeah. <clears throat> I Unless the point of specificity is... Well, whatever. I think we know. <clears throat> yeah, you still wrote more than me, though. Weird. Three, two, one. A moldering old ruin. A moldering old ruin... With a sign over the entrance saying, Danger, do not enter, oh, unsafe. I almost mentioned the sign, but I think that counts. Okay. Moldering was the part I thought you were trying to be specific about. Mm, no, no. Yeah, the sign. I had never heard that. Well, I'm sure I maybe read it somewhere, but didn't know. Yeah, I couldn't remember moldering as, as the... I remember it because I couldn't believe that was even... I've never even heard that word until we discussed it a few words ago. A few words few, ago. A few words ago. Literally, we have just, spoken so just few words. so few words. <laughs> just words ago did we discuss moldering old ruins. That's a good phrase. <coughs> yes. Good phrase. It okay. is good. Right. Apparently, uh, I'm good at phrases. Question 19. How many staircases are there at Hogwarts? Oh, this is a Pottermore thing. Oh, no. I'm going to ask for multiple choice on this one. I don't know if it'll help you or not. I don't know if it will help me at all. All um, right. Yes. Let's do it. All right. Choice. 312. Way more than I was thinking already. 142. 218. 96. Do you know? I had a guess in my mind and one of those was close. <laughs> I was trying to think of how many floors were in Hogwarts and I was uh -huh. like, less than 20. <laughs> like... Yeah. Give or take a minute from the turrets. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wasn't it's thinking like, like 312 <laughs> would be a questionable. <laughs> oh, castles seem like a lot of work. They do. 300 just individual steps would seem like a lot. Yeah. 312. 218. 142. Blasphemy! I don't know what. Bollocks! Man, 300 immediately came to mind when you asked that, and I don't know. I disagree. Question. 20. Which educational decree instituted by Umbridge prohibits students from possessing the quibbler? What? Like, which number? Uh-huh. Which... Uh oh, okay. So... Oh, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. This is figure outable. We have to figure out <laughs> what is... Figure outable. <laughs> figure figure outable. outable. That's the... Deducible? Deducible. No. No, it's figure, figure outable. Figure outable. <laughs> Okay, um, what is the first thing she bans or changes? Is that the first thing? I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is. Um, is it Quidditch? Oh, like the formation of teams and stuff? Right. When do they do it? Is it is it when there's a whiff of Dumbledore's army? It's, uh, no. It's because... shortly after Valentine's Day. Because he gives the interview with Luna and Rita Skeeter after his date with Cho on Valentine's Day. Uh, so it's got to be, like, not long after, but it's, like, how much has happened by that point. There are so many of these things, too. I know, I know. And, she, like, it, like, the further it gets in... Okay, so, it's not... Are you listing all of the ones that you know? Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm just going to write a number down. I cannot believe you were, like, narrowing in on it. <sighs> I'm just, like, I'm trying to think... How many things she does? The way that your brain is organized must be so much more like <laughs> filing cabinets than mine. I think I've talked about this before, but mine is literally 
a desk with a lamp on it <laughs> and a bunch of papers. Is that why you put a lamp on this desk? Yes, of course. It, it helps me <laughs> so help you visualize my your brain answers. space is roughly similar to this. Just my brain is much more cluttered. Oh, and then there's man. just papers everywhere. I'm just trying to think if there was like two at once at some point. Two at once? Like if she came out with, I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. I'm going to go magical with my <clears> answer. <throat> Three, two, one. Twenty-five? Seven. The correct answer is educational decree number 27. No! Oh, Whoa. man! I knew it was... Okay. The, the very first one is educational decree 23. So I knew that. Because, like, I always remember it because it rhymes. And, like, there's a chapter named after that one. Oh. And I knew... I couldn't remember. All I could think was... I know she does one for the inspections, one banning, like, groups without permission, one for the quibbler... So and there were already educational. There were there have been twenty two pre Umbridge. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's fair. Ah, uh, so close. I can't remember what the other two are that I can't think of. Uh, uh, whatever. Question number twenty one because we spent Question. a lot of time on. Well, yeah, obviously you don't have to cut these down. So. Yeah. <laughs> Question number twenty one: Which animals sit on the pillars of the Hogwarts gates? Three, two, one. Winged boars. Winged boars. Nice. I'm judged. Mm, mm. It's fine. You know what they were. Okay. I had no idea that it was even boars. Another crazy question? I wouldn't get this one. <clears throat> oh, boy. oh, boy. Here we go. Question number 22. Where is Peeves most commonly found when Harry looks at the Marauder's map? I have a guess. <clears throat> oh, man. Hold on. I wonder if this is like a specific location or if it's like around a specific person. I am I am surprised that anybody ever noticed that he was in the same place more than once. That's interesting. Why would this, see, that's, that's what makes me think it could be like, he's like constantly annoying a person as a location, like like near Filch or something. Right. You know? That's exactly what I thought you were thinking. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, oh man, I, you... Mm, I would take multiple choice on this, but I don't know how comfortable you feel with your answer. I think where I'm at right now is that I'm already losing. <coughs> so don't give I don't me any advantages. see us coming back. I don't think I'm right, but I also don't think if I make you guess that you'll be right. So it's either like better chance for both of us to get it right or a better chance for both of us to get it wrong. And it makes no difference to me. Okay. I have a completely random guess. I have no idea. If, it's a, if it is a round filch, I'm going to be so mad. All right, well, you want to know what's really funny uh, is that that exact logic is exactly what I used right out of the gate in order to get Filch's office. I said the charms corridor. The correct answer is bouncing around the trophy room. Really? That's the most common place he's at. That's Weird. The no idea. Don't know. I haven't picked up on that before. How about that? What does Peeves seek like in the trophy room? There's got to be a. There's got to be a, a reason for that. for that. Yeah. Okay. Way to go, Pottermore quiz. <clears throat> All right. Question number twenty-three. Looking at the great hall from the high table, how are the house tables arranged from left to right? Which house is and left most? Which house is looking out from the high table. Yes. Okay. So you are you are Dumbledore. Yes. Surveying your students. Okay. Okay. I think I... Oh, man. I feel confident about two, and then I'm just 50-50 in the others. <laughs> I can guess which ones you're confident about. <laughs> right. All right. Three, two, one. I said, from right to left, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. That's what I have. Neither of those are correct. No! Uh, the correct answer is Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin. Gryffindor's on the edge? Yes. No! Fuss. Oh, that's not good. That's not, that's a movie. That thing. is. That this is, is this is very much how it is in the movies. At least Slytherin and Gryffindor. That's some BS. Not that the movies count, but my goodness. Okay. Okay. If you say so. I'll it's funny that we had the same <coughs> answer, though. Yeah. Gryffindors are on the edge. Surprising. I don't, yeah, I don't ever remember a reference to that, like to them being yeah. close to a wall. You know, yeah. like leaning their chair <coughs> back against the wall. Man, mom hated that when I we think were they kids. sit on benches, though. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It'd be hard to tip a bench backwards. Everyone would have to tip together. It seems like Fred and George would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping jinx. The whole thing over. Tripping jinx. All right. right. Question number 24. What advice does the Hogwarts school motto offer? What advice does the Hogwarts school motto offer? Yes, that is the question. It seemed like you were starting that like incredulously and then you just sort of like finished it. <laughs> like what advice 
does the school motto? I was like trying to think like what even is the school motto? Oh boy. Man, this is gonna be mm. You wanna go multiple choice? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I yeah, okay. Cause like yeah, yeah. I, I all I can think of is like the turn of phrase that Dumbledore has where he's like, um, help will always be there for Yeah, that's that's not the Hogwarts motto though. Go ahead and read a multiple, multiple choice. choice. Multiple choice. Oh, it's not going to be helpful, is it? Never annoy a sleeping dragon. Always tickle a sleeping dragon. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Never tickle a snoring dragon. Um. Okay, I think I've got it. What? I do. I do remember like translating this once upon a time and being like, "That is ridiculous." This is like one of those sorcerer's stone things where I feel like when she was writing it, she was imagining the magical world much goofier. And like Much Dumbledore like being whimsical. like, flabber, nitwit, something in, you know, he just oh, says a bunch that's, of nonsense. That's right. <clears throat> I feel like it's not always. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally on that same level of deduction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. C. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. C is correct. Never annoy. Never annoy, yeah. How, like, annoy would seem like a weird word to have in there, just yeah. period. Yeah. So I had had those, and then it was like, snoring versus sleeping. Sleeping seems to make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Never disrupt a dragon while he's sleeping. It's like, yeah, it's okay if he's not snoring. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, 25? Question 25. Which is the tallest tower at Hogwarts? Three, two, one. Astronomy. Astronomy. Nice. Damn. Nice. What is that? I actually have astrology. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Aww. That's a bummer. <laughs> Number 26. Where did the Grey Lady hide Ravenclaw's diadem after fleeing Hogwarts with it? Oh, feel like... Yeah. I'm good, I think... All right, I think the, Three, there's two, one important one. word. A hollow tree in Albania. Yeah, an Albanian forest. A forest in Albania is the answer as it reads here. Okay, this is correct. <laughs> this is more than the quiz is asking for. True. Question 27. What does Professor Flitwick use to decorate his classroom at Christmas? Your face right now is just great. <laughs> uh, do you think you know? Should we choice it? Yeah, I'll choice it. Let's choice it. Enchanted sparkling icicles, floating snowballs, singing toads, live fairies. Just go to the filing cabinet. Oh, Pull out all your okay. papers on Flitwick. Ugh. Three, two, one. Fairies. A. Live fairies yes! is correct. Oh my gosh. I knew. I think the icicles were in the Great Hall. Ugh. Shoes. Oh man. That was. That's not cool. It doesn't seem like Flitwick to use a living creature. It doesn't. And I was like, that seems like a Lockhart or a Slughorn thing. It does. And. Mm. Man. This quiz, I can't believe you like reached and got it. I hate this game. All right, question number 28. What preventative measure is in place to stop boys from entering the girls' dormitory in the Gryffindor Tower? You know, this is actually a funny one because I feel like I have wondered about this so many times. Is it in the books? Do you remember? It does happen. I don't know if there's like a specific name for the spell or anything, but I know what happens. Three, two, one. Stairs turn into a slide. <laughs> Mine says, I literally do not know. Bells. Just bells. There's, there's just some bells. <laughs> there's, there's, uh, you just have to let them know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the stairs turn into a slide. Nice. That is, I now remember that. It happens. Lavender gets upset at Ron. Because he tries to rush up and tell Hermione something. And then two girls come down and like, who tried to enter? I, whenever we take these quizzes, I'm like, I don't even know these books. Like, <laughs> did I even read them? <laughs> 30 times! Yeah. Question number 29. Which tiny breed of owl does Hogwarts use for local deliveries only? Which tiny breed of owl? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is a... <sighs> okay, can we get the options? Yeah? How many breeds of owl are you aware of? I'm aware of Screech? Eagle? Snowy White? Pro yeah, okay, Did you say Eagle? Eagle Owl. Eagle Owls? That's what, that's that's what, what uh, Malfoy that's what has. I feel like it should Malfoy pick one. Has. What? I feel like it should pick one, either Eagle or Owl. <laughs> it can't be both. <laughs> cool bird. Not to be confused with the infamous Owl Eagle. 
It's like a whale shark. You just pick one, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scops owls, elf owls, screech owls, or pygmy owls. All right. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Pygmy. Scops owls. That is malarkey. And I've never heard of scops owls in my life. And I feel like they made it up. On the screen is a picture of a scops owl. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll show everybody what a scops owl is. So uh, I can I've learn for the, the first scops. time. Also an eagle owl. Also, yeah, yeah. And a whale shark. <laughs> and a whale shark. I was thinking pygmy because of, because they call him pig widgeon, and he's like such a runty owl. That's true. That's yeah. That's sort of what I was getting. Well, I mean, pygmy usually refers to like Something a small, small anyway. And like screech owl was the only one I knew ahead of time, and they seem big. Question number thirty. The final question. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. What does the door to the Ravenclaw common room ask Luna before she and Harry can enter? Oh my god, I just read this. Well, then you clearly know it. Uh, three, two, one. Which came first, the phoenix or the flame? This is what they asked McGonagall. This is what they asked McGonagall. That is what they asked McGonagall. What they asked Luna is which came first, the phoenix or the flame. Thank God this and is And she over. answers, a circle has no beginning. Yep, that's exactly well what happens. Reasoned. Mm. Well reasoned. I don't like the voice that... Uh, oh, that he does for that? Yeah, nope. me either. Nope. I don't, I don't like it. Jay, I'm not going to lie to you. This has been, like, torturous. Oh, no. I have sorry. not enjoyed myself. Oh, what'd you end up with Any. here? 14? I 14. I got 23. Boom, I think. Unless I kept track poorly. It's always possible. It'll be on screen. It'll be on screen, so you'll know if I look stupid in the final moments. Ben, I ended your winning streak. Of one. It was so long. Now it's mine to defend. Ooh. We shall see. We shall see. Let us know in the towel section down below. What did you get? Did you get a perfect score? I recommend trying to get get try and get a friend to do it with you and have them ask you the questions so you can do it without multiple choice. Yes. Because it's that hard. makes it harder. That makes it harder. <laughs> it is so very hard. And if you knew where the fat lady was hiding. Oh, oh good, good for you. That's wild. Yeah. You. So many of these details. You know what's so funny about this too is that I was so into Harry Potter when I was in elementary school that I remember putting together a quiz for my classmates wow. that was like exactly along these lines. <laughs> I went through and found the most ridiculous, obscure, and like nobody in my class read Harry Potter. So it was like, <laughs> everybody's like, what? I don't know. Oh, man. So you, you used to put together Harry Potter quizzes. I used to. We should come up with, like, Super Carlin Brother approved Harry Potter quizzes Oh, my something. gosh. Would you guys take fun. Super Carlin Brother Harry Potter quizzes? Mm -hmm. That'd be Oh, fun. my gosh. This That'd would be, be such a good reason to finally get a website. Oh, my gosh. We'd have to make it, like, absurdly long or something. Like, like, a hundred questions long. And then, like, whoever got the first perfect score or something. But guys, thanks for watching. As always, please remember to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future quiz videos from us. If you'd like to see us take some other Harry Potter quizzes, you can click right here in between us somewhere. We'll put a, we'll put a link to right it. Right here. That'd be great. See you next time. Bye. Bye.